Hi everyone, this is Sidra from Gourmet Gattos and today I'll be showing you how to make one of my most popular and top selling flowers which is a whimsical rose. So let's go through what we need and then we can get started. So for this tutorial you need some gum paste. I prefer to use Squire's Kitchen but you can use any brand you want and I always get it in white and then dye it in whatever colour I need to. You need some treks or some shortening to make your gum paste pliable. A small rolling pin, some sugar glue and a paintbrush. Your colour, uh, whatever colour you want to make your flower in. In this case I'm using sugar flare and it's a great violet colour. I always tend to use uh, colours by sugar flare. And this is a three centimetre foam ball. You need your two petal cutters. Now this is the largest one that we'll be using just to cover the foam bud and it's it's 5.58 centimetres in width and 6.1 inches in length and the smallest one that we'll be using for our petals is 3.8 centimetres in width and 4.4 centimetres in length. You need a 20 gauge green floral wire, a cocktail stick, something to store your petals in. In this case I'm using a Wilton storage board and it has two layers of the plastic to cover your petals and keep them safe away from moisture so it, they don't dry out. And a pair of disposable gloves. Now these are completely optional but I tend to wear them when I'm colouring my icing so I don't get, get colour on my hands. And a pasta machine. Now this is my pasta machine. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. If you're one of those people who makes lots and lots of flowers, um, a pasta machine is a must. And this is by Jamie Oliver. And for the last two rows, you need an apple tray. And now let's quickly start making our rows. So what we're first gonna do is get, put our gloves on get our icing and you want to cover the rest if there is any just so it, it doesn't dry out because if any air gets to the paste then it results in drying the paste out making it extremely difficult to work with and you just want to make this pliable You first want to break it down and then you want to make it pliable by adding some treks in. So I just prefer to break it down further fully. And then you just want to grab some treks, a good generous amount, and just mix it in. And just get it really soft. And then you just want to start adding your colour with a cocktail stick. Start by adding little amounts first and then mix that in before adding any more colour because a little bit of colour usually goes a long way. A 
and this is the exact shade I am wanting for this flower. So once you're happy with your shade, so you can put your colour and your cocktail stick to the side. You just cover your paste for now. And what we're going to do is get our cocktail stick and poke it in the bowl right across. And get our 20 gauge wire. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off from the full wire. You can use the full wire if you prefer. And then I'm just going to put it in, bring it to the top, put it across and then twist it to secure it in place. And can you see how it's still a little bit loose? You can tighten it with some pliers. And there we have the bud ready. And we just put this to the side. And now we can get on with rolling our paste. So, Cut a little bit of your dyed paste, put the rest to the side and roll it out just a little bit with your roller and then you're able to put it in your pasta machine. And you want to start from your thickest, which is number seven on my pasta machine, all the way down to the thinnest, which is a number one in my pasta machine. Then you can go ahead and cut out your petals. Um, you want one of the largest one that we're going to use to cover the bud. And then the rest you want of the smallest one. So you want three for the first layer. And you can really cut out all your petals in one go if you have enough icing rolled out. And then you want three for the second layer. And then you want five for your third layer. Remember to cover your petals in your storage board to prevent them from drying out. And then you want seven for your last layer. If you haven't got enough icing, not to worry, we can always roll it out again. But just cut out however many petals you've got. I 
and one shot. So I'm just going to quickly put the petals in my storage board. And roll out a little bit more paste just to get that one petal that I need. And then once you've got all your petals cut out, you want the largest one that you cut out first. And you just want to roll it out from the top and the bottom, just making the petal slightly long so it can cover the foam bud. And then once you've, you've got it fairly long, you just want to flip it over because that's, that'll be the tackiest side and um, that'll stick better to the foam bud. And then you want to get your sugar glue and your paintbrush and cover the whole petal in sugar glue. And then you want to get your foam bud and just wrap it round like a cape and then bring it down a little bit to get the pointy tip right and then bring that across and stick like so and then just tuck this underneath or you can get a pair of scissors and just snip off the extra icing bits like I do and it should look like this once you finish with it and then for the next row we want to do three petals exactly the same way and I always tend to keep a damp cloth with me as well just so I can clean my hands if I ever get sugar sugar glue on them along with a dry one and then for the next layer you want to get three petals and this time we're going to roll them around all the way around just stretching the petal You want that to be fairly thin. Doesn't matter if the shape isn't the same. And then again, you want to flip them over because you want to use the stickiest side of the petals. And this time, we're not going to cover the whole petal. We're going to cover one side of the petal that you're going to stick down and half of the other one. And you can go clockwise or anti-clockwise. And your first petal, you want to overlap where the join is. And you want it fairly at the same height as the tip of the bud. So the first petal goes down like so. And then you want to stick the side down that you've glued. And 
the one side that you've glued and then you're going to overlap that by a half roughly a half and again you want to make sure the petals are at the same height and that you want to stick that down as well and then you want to peel back your first petal and tuck your last one underneath overlapping your second petal by about half again and don't be afraid to peel it further back just so you can get that last petal tucked underneath and then you can just bring that back bring it down and stick same with this one bring it down and stick and same with this one down and stick and again with these you can just snip them off with some scissors because no one's going to see the bottom bit so don't worry about that and then just smooth it out a little bit and if you want you can use your cocktail stick and just open your petals up slightly and if you want them slightly tighter you just want to pull them down a little bit more and that'll make them tight like so And that's our first layer done. Now for our second layer, you want another three set of petals. So roll them out exactly the same. And we're going to stick these down exactly the same as our first layer. So we're first going to turn them over. But this time we're going to just cover the bottom, sec bottom section of the petal with glue. So we're just going to do a little V. Paint a little V with your sugar glue. And this goes at the same height as the first previous layer, not above it. And you want to place it where the join is. So stick that down. And if you want, you can add a little bit more sugar glue here. But you don't want to add too much, that's why we do the V first. And then you want to overlap that by a half. Again, you can add some more sugar glue here. Then you want to pull back your first petal and add 
a little bit of sugar glue there and tuck that one underneath, overlapping the previous petal by half. And then you want to bring back your first petal and tightly close the bud. Just like so and with the bottom bits you can either just tuck them underneath now and just smooth it out and open the petal up slightly if you want to So this is what it should look like and when you when you make this yourself you really want to let this bit dry completely for around an hour before adding your next layer of five petals. Next five petals exactly the same way. And you'll need your apple tray from this point onwards. And once you've rolled them out, all you're going to do is you're going to put them in your apple tray. Just to give them a little bit of a cup shape. And you want to let these dry for around 15 minutes, depending on your weather conditions. You don't want them to be fully dried, you want them to be flexible but still holding their cup shape. So now it's been around 10 to 15 minutes. The petals are nice and dry but still flexible so they're not completely dry and that's exactly what you want. So you want to take them out your apple tray and again you want to paint a V with the sugar glue at the bottom of your petals. You want to take it to around a half of the petal. And we're going to glue them onto the bud exactly the same way applying the first petal on a join of the previous one and you want to have it the same level at the same height of the previous row so stick that down and then maybe if you want to just pinch that just so it doesn't move and you want to overlap that by a half Try and get it at the same height and then same with that, overlap by a half at the same height.
and that as well. And then your last petal, you want to peel back your first one and tuck that underneath and overlap it by a half. And then just bring that across and stick. And then turn it upside down and get rid of the extra paste by just trimming it off. And then we can sort out the petals. Just push them down so they're completely secure. And then just open them up ever so slightly from one side. Then you want to get your cocktail stick and you just want to make sure that the other side is completely stuck down. And then that'll just help open up the petals from the other side even more. And then you want to let this dry. If you want to tighten them up and close them even more, just peel it off and bring it down a little bit more and that'll just tighten it off from the top. And then we can add our final row. I tend to not wait for this to dry because then I can position all the petals um, even on the final layer at the end. So I don't wait for this to dry and I just go ahead and add my final layer like I am going to now. So I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to quickly add my last layer of petals which is seven petals and we're going to roll them out exactly the same way So once you've rolled all your petals out, what you're going to do is you're going to get your apple tray and turn it upside down. And then you're just going to carefully just place each petal just like that on top of it. And don't be too bothered about fixing, getting it a perfectly round petal because the curves is what matters in this particular flower. So just upside down and that will also give it that cup shape. And you want to let these take their shape for 10 to 15 minutes as well. And this is gonna be our final row. But again, you don't want it to be too firm. You want them to be flexible, but yet still firm. So 10 to 15 minutes for them, depending on your weather conditions. So now that your petals have been drying for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you can see that they're still flexible, but they've still got that cup shape to them. And you just wanna take them off from the apple tray and put this to one side and again we're going to be painting a V at the bottom of the petal with sugar glue and you've got seven petals for this so again just get your sugar glue and coat it up to about a half of the petal in a V
Then once you've done that, we'll start off by adding the petals. You can wait for a couple of seconds for your sugar glue to get tacky on the petals. And then start by adding one of your petals and you want to over you want to go over the the previous join and you want to add it to the same level or rough or a little bit below but not above it so try and get it to the same level or below but you don't want to go above the, the previous layer and you're just going to stick that down and again we're going to overlap by about half and we're going to keep doing this until we get to the first petal and if you want to tighten the petals up a little bit more you can just pick them up from there and just pull them towards the edge and then stick them down and that will just tighten them up from the top and then go for the third petal and then you just want to keep sticking down and I will always just tend to keep folding the bottom bit at the bottom and then I can snip it off using a pair of scissors and you just want to keep going and you get the same height as the previous row and then add your next one Then you just want to peel back your first one and then pop that in there and then stick your final one in and you want to support the other petals with your left hand or whichever hand you're not working with and then just pop that underneath and bring that back and stick then you're going to turn it upside down and you're just going to get rid of the extra paste at the bottom now you can either stick this down with some sugar glue or you can use a pair of scissors and just snip the bits off and then just make sure all the petals are secure by pressing them down firmly And then turn it upright and then just open them up ever so slightly and you can use a cocktail stick as well to open them up just like that And if you find that one of your petals is not sticking, just add a little bit of sugar glue and stick that there. And then with your cocktail stick, you can go around and just push the inside of the petals towards the previous layer so it sticks. And then you can open them up even more until you're completely happy with it and if your previous row is not fully dried you can uh, move around those petals as well if you want to and then if your petals are really really soft and they're about to fall off then what you can do is you can get a stand and just hang it upside down on a rack until your flowers firm up ever so slightly and they're able to stand upright without falling off and this usually takes around 30 minutes but if you feel that they're not going to fall off then you can by all means hang it upright the, now that the petals on the flower is completely dry you want to just turn it upside down and wrap some floral tape around it 
Now this is just so you don't see the wire and it gives it that clean finish. And you can, by all means, if you want to, just cut it in half if you want. And you just want to start midway of the wire and then stretch it as you go along to release the stickiness of the tape and just wrap it around all the way till the top going right next to the flower and then just bring it back down all the way down to the bottom of the the wire And that way you just get a clean finish. And that's our finished flower. And if you want to make a bigger flower, then you would just get a bigger size ball and bigger size petals. And if you wanted to use a smaller flower and make a smaller one, you would just use a smaller foam ball and smaller size petals. You can also use a gum paste ball to add your petals on but because the flower is already heavy using a foam ball just makes them lighter when inserted into your cake so on that note this video comes to an end i really hope you've enjoyed this video guys modern whimsical rose tutorial and please do feel free to take a look at some of our other online tutorials thank you